Good morning, caregivers. It's Carol Howell with What's Going On With Mama. Today, I'm going by a new name. I'm calling myself Kermit the Frog. As you can hear, I don't sound so good and I don't feel so good. Really thought about just coming on the air and telling you I didn't feel good and I would catch you on Monday. But I've planned on making Barack Obama's chili. And I think some warm chili today when I don't feel good is just what the doctor ordered. So today I'd like to thank my husband, the cameraman, for helping me out. He's going to tell you who our sponsors are. I'm going to hold up the notes. Here we go, Michael. Go for it. We'd like to thank Vitamin Depot on Selenies Road in Rock Hill. They're behind Burger King, and they carry all the supplements you need for good health. Ask them about CBD oil and its benefits for your body. Also, Life in the Carolinas. You can watch their episodes at lifeinthecarolinas.com and learn about all the wonderful people and places in North and South Carolina. And also, Passmore's Grocery and Grill on Saluda Road. It's a wonderful place to go for a great breakfast or lunch. Oh, he did such a good job. Thank you, Mike. Buzz has already got up early and came in here and started getting food ready for me. He's a good one. I'm going to keep him. Y'all know what today is? It is the last day of February. Who took February and shoot it, shot it out in the air so quickly? It is gone. I can't believe it. Well, as I said in my little teaser for today's show, I know nothing about politics. I'm just going to tell you, I never know what's going on, and I like it like that, so I'm not complaining at all. But I do know about Barack Obama's chili. Now, this is a recipe I found when he was in office. They swear it is his recipe. Who knows? I don't. Don't care. Just know it's really good chili. We can call it whatever kind of chili we want to. So if you're not crazy about Barack Obama, you call it whatever chili you want to. If you love Barack Obama, call it Barack Obama chili. What I just did because I'm using my crock pot today, don't you love your crock pot? This is a gift from God. I think on the eighth day, God made crock pots. What do you think? And on the ninth day, he made slow cooker liners. <laughs> this is the Aldi brand. It is a liner for your crock pot. You just line your crock pot with this bag. You put your food in there. And when you're through, you take that bag, you throw it away. Your crock pot's clean. That, my friend, is a gift to caregivers. You don't have time to scrub up a crock pot. And you know if you put something tomato based in a crock pot, it's going to stick, isn't it? And you have to scrub it off. Well, no, you're not when you've got a liner. Now, let me pull out my recipe here because I'm just about not, my brain's not clicking on all cylinders today. I have to tell you, when I make this recipe, I don't go exactly by the recipe, but then I never do when I cook anyway. So we're going to kind of fake it a little bit today, and then I'll write down exactly what I put in when I put the recipe back on Facebook and YouTube and all the many places we put it. But we're going to use mainly all the ingredients today. I've got a couple exceptions because they were out of something. But this is just diced tomatoes. These are the basil, garlic, and oregano diced tomatoes. Um, you can use whatever kind of tomatoes that you prefer. I just think I already got seasoning in them. Let's go for it. I'm going to put three cans of these wonderful tomatoes in there. I um, like the ones that have some body to them, some chunk, so it's not all mushed up. Um, and my wonderful helper today did not <clears throat> realize, and I didn't even think about it. It's okay, Michael. Follow me over here to the sink. We want to drain these um, kidney beans. Oh, shake them off because we don't want all of that liquid down in. And these are all these light red kidney beans. Now, if you prefer dark kidney beans, that's fine too. It's definitely a matter of preference. If you're not a kidney bean fan, go ahead and use black beans um, or use pinto beans. It really doesn't matter what kind of beans you use. Here's another can of kidney beans. But put your favorite beans. We like all kinds of beans. We really do. Um, you could mix them up if you prefer. Just whatever makes you happy. I am one of these cooks that I seldom make a recipe the same way twice, which pretty much drives the cameraman crazy because he'll say, can we have this again and can you make it the same way again? Well, it's debatable. You never know. So right now we've got equal parts beans and tomatoes in there. All right. You can at this point add a bell pepper if you want. 
um, a green bell pepper, red or yellow. I'm not adding that today. One reason is I didn't have any. I never use green bell pepper for anything. It doesn't settle on my stomach. And I'm not overwhelmingly crazy about the bell pepper in this, so that's, again, a matter of taste. But we do want to put about a cup of chopped onion. Now, you're a busy caregiver. Did you know you can buy onion already chopped up? Now this is from, this is Pick Sweet Farms. I buy this at Walmart or wherever I can find it because there are a lot of people in this world who like buying these chopped onions and they're out of them all the time. Open up the bag, dump out how much you need, put the bag in a Ziploc bag back in the freezer and you've got onion ready to go. You didn't shed one tear getting it. It's wonderful. All right, let's get this out of my way. Um, now, my chili is going to have the crumbles in it that I've told you about. This particular brand, because Aldi was out of their brand, is Gardein, and it's the ultimate beefless ground meat. Um, so there's no meat in this. It's very, very good stuff. I tell you, last night I put it in the frying pan with a little bit of this onion, cooked the onion down first, added this, cooked it together, and then I put some sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce on it, we had that with mashed potatoes. It was great. And it was kind of like Sloppy Joe. I thought that would be a great Sloppy Joe. Maybe put on a bun or put on a tortilla. I bet my husband, the cameraman's thinking, yeah, we should have that. He likes Sloppy Joe. Let me break this up a little bit. Let's see, I don't think we're gonna put the whole bag. Let's put, oh, maybe half the bag in there. We may stir that up in a little bit and go, hmm, let's add a little bit more. Had a big chunk of it come out. I absolutely love having these crumbles. Um, I don't have to cook hamburger and um, chop it up a little, and this is teeny tiny once the frozen pieces separate. All right, now we're going to add the seasoning, and I've already um, mixed them up, but we've got two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of oreganos. I like saying oreganos. That's how Graham Keir used to say it on the Galloping Gourmet. Boy, I'm telling people how old I am. Two teaspoons of turmeric and two teaspoons of salt. Four teaspoons of chili powder. Now, let's talk about turmeric a minute. You know, this is good for your joints and for inflammation. It's an excellent thing. The doctor has actually prescribed turmeric capsules for my mama. Spices are expensive, aren't they? I don't know if you have an Indian grocery store near you. We have one in Charlotte, North Carolina. If you go there and buy your spices, you are going to save so much money. You can go buy a bag of turmeric for less than you're going to buy a little bottle of it at the grocery store. Just a little tip. So I've got all of those right here already mixed together. It's a bunch of seasoning and we're going to stir that in. You know, if I was one of those television shows, they'd have everybody, every little ingredient in pretty little clear glass bowls. I don't own not even one clear glass bowl. It's a bit of a problem, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Now we're going to add in three tablespoons, no, six tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Now this is the apple cider vinegar with the mother. In fact, I didn't take it. You know, the mother is that goopy stuff down in the bottom that makes it good for you. Now, I am very precise on my measuring. See, this had one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that looks good. Ha <laughs> ha, close counts. This is why I don't bake cakes, because close doesn't count in baking cakes. <laughs> All right, what am I missing? I've got the beans, and I've got the meat, and I've got the onion, I've got the tomatoes. Oh, garlic. Oh, now you know garlic's good for you, right? You get a little spoon. Garlic will help most anything that ails you. I don't quite know why, but it's true. And again, I buy the chopped garlic already from Aldi. This recipe calls for four cloves of garlic. Mm. Yeah, that looks about right. And I've just got a little bit left. Let's just dump it in there so I can clean out that jar. Because garlic goes well with tomatoes. So we're gonna stir that in. Garlic, got my seasonings. Oh, there you go, folks. Michael, can you come show them what the inside of the crock pot looks like? Doesn't that look good to you? And I'm thinking maybe a little bit more of these crumbles, if I can get this to break up. Yeah, why not? We've got them, so let's use them. And then you can take what's left, put them in a Ziploc bag, put it right back in the freezer, have it later for if you want to do some crumbles, maybe to go on top of a salad or um, to make those sloppy joes I talked about earlier. 
maybe we make spaghetti sauce. Well, there you go. Are you tired? That was so hard, wasn't it? This is just an easy thing for you to fix when you are in a hurry as a caregiver. I'll slide over here for a minute and the lid. You put the lid on, make sure that bag is tucked on the outside. Okay, bag is tucked all the way around. And I'm gonna let this cook all day long. You know, as with most um, slow cooking, if you're cooking um, for the full day, like you're putting it on before you go to work, you're gonna put it on low and let it cook for eight hours. That works with most recipes. If you want it quicker than that, you put it on high and it'll cook for four hours. We're not gonna have this till dinner time tonight. I'm gonna to enjoy smelling it in the house, so I'm gonna put it on low. Now, I'm not gonna make this next recipe for you because I've never done it before but I am going to make this for us and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I want us to have more vegetables than what we're going to have in this. So I'm going to take this um, Jiffy Mix cornbread mix. I love this stuff. My daddy hated Jiffy Mix. He said that cornbread should not have any sugar in it and this does have a little bit of sugar and it makes it sweet. But I'm going to make um, broccoli and cheese cornbread. And in this, I'm going to put finely, finely chopped um, broccoli and some cheese in the egg that it calls for and make broccoli and cheese cornbread and see how it comes out. I'll let you know. If it comes out good, I'll put the recipe on Facebook. If it comes out bad, you know you're never going to hear about it. <laughs> but that's just, that's, that's me experimenting. Some of my experiments come out good. Some of them, yeah, not so good. You know, it's just the way that is. You know how cooking goes. What time is it? Oh, I'm doing well. I hope that you will check out our Amazon best-selling book, Let's Talk Dementia. Lots of good information there that will help you in your caregiving journey. It's written in easy-to-understand language because that's how this girl talks. I don't do hard, big words that make me look important in front of you. I only know two. I use those two frequently. But it's just a good to read book. Um, also, you can check out our podcast on iTunes. We're in 69 countries. I'm looking forward to hitting that 70 country mark. Let's see. What have I not told you? What have I not told him? Like, oh, I want you to know that. Keep my mama in your prayers. She's had a rough couple of days, got some issues going on. And I have felt like for some time that mama has declined quite a bit in the last month and that her dementia has progressed. And um, having some drastic effects on her body and it's part of the process y'all but it's not fun the experience for her or for us so keep her in your prayers and my family too all right mr howell you're my my cameraman he's doing such a good job he has to read this and hold the camera still <laughs> we'd like to say thank you to our sponsors passmore's grocery and grill on saluda road in rock hill hold on i can't get the pages all right vitamin depot on solonies road in rock hill your go-to place for supplements cbd oil and local honey and also life in the carolinas the award-winning television show about what life is like in the carolinas Learn more at lifeinthecarolinas.com. Gosh, what a good job he did. I think I might hire him. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope your last day of February is a fun one. And I hope that you experience joy and hope and peace. Don't leave me because somewhere over here, where did I put it, is our Bible verse for today. In the morning, where did I put it? When I rise, makes me think of that song. In the morning when I rise, give me Jesus. Well, I am so organized today. Well, I can't find my Bible verse. But anyway, read your Bible today. You'll find my verse. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye-bye.